Hello my gorgeous Scorpios, thank you so much for your patience with me. Um, I did record two other videos for the month of July for you, but I just wasn't happy with them. So this is take three and that never happens, especially not with Scorpio because I'm a Scorpio. And um, But I think the real issue is it's hard for me to extricate myself and my own experiences and give you an objective look at what is going on energetically with us. So I'm going to do my absolute best to kind of separate myself from this reading and see what is going on for us generally, okay? Um, we're going to start off with love and then we're going to go general towards the end. So angels and spirit, please show us clearly what is going on for Scorpios in love for the remainder of July, please. Angels and spirit and into August. guys let's see okay we've definitely got travel on the cards for you if it's not with anyone it's by yourself we've got the honeymoon card okay and I saw this in both of the videos that I recorded before for Scorpio okay so there's holiday time on the horizon <clears throat> Some of you, okay, unsurprisingly, um, Mercury has just gone retrograde. There's going to be a past person um, that you need to free yourself of, okay? I feel like the universe is wanting to test you one light last time by dangling the carrot, the carrot being someone from the past that you've had a connection with, but that probably wasn't good for you. Um, they're going to make a reappearance or you're going to want to reach out to them. Um, but I want you to instead just go out with your friends, reach out to your friends. Your friends aren't going to um, cause you hurt and pain. You know, this person probably will. I mean, if you've learnt your past lessons with this person, don't be tempted to revisit that, okay? Because it's probably not going to end well, but we'll see what the tarot cards have to say, all right? Simply because past life relationship and free yourself. So spirit is asking you to take back control of your life um, and move forward, okay? Yeah. So I do feel like for some of you, um, you're going to meet someone and there's going to be potential, um, like future potential there, all right? You've got the engagement card, which is your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So we do have some... Um, real potential suitors coming up for you if you can attach yourself sorry if you can detach yourself from this past person but then i do see travel and um, this new person there might be time apart from them because we've got travel and um, separation okay so what do i want to do i want to do simple love advice now, I want to um, let you know what card came out previously, because I think it's very relevant. Um, you had what's yours will be yours, this one here. Okay, so the pain that you currently feel is only temporary. It's just a moment in time. Okay, so understand that you will grow from this experience growth is an unexpected gift of pain and through growth growth we achieve strength in character shaping who we are and discovering what we want in another person so it might just be that you're tempted to go back and have a little dalliance or rendezvous with this person from the past just to see how far you've grown since you connected with them the last time um, and, you know, even if it doesn't kind of get off the ground with this person, um, know that someone or something meant for you is on its way. That's the message of this card, okay? And that's what I saw in the Romance Angels. 
Let's just see if there's um, any more messages from this deck to come out for Scorpios. Angels and Spirit, can we have some clear and direct advice in love for Scorpios, please? For now and into early August. out more we've got take a risk take a risk is is all about um, doing something you haven't done before okay so you know step out of your comfort zone that kind of thing it's saying if you make your decisions based on fear then the safety that you feel will never last this card did come out before so I probably should have just gone with the previous videos we're getting the same repeated messages um, so just remember that, yeah, sometimes taking a risk is hard, but risks don't have to be taken as losses. Risks can be seen as new challenges. It all depends on your perspective. So try something new and see where the risk takes you. Taking risks also requires a level of, you know, exposing, a level of exposure, exposing yourself um, and making yourself a little bit vulnerable, okay, because it always involves an element of, danger, an element of, um, you know, possible rejection, possible failure. So don't be afraid of that. Okay. Because what's the worst that can happen? Okay. You get rejected, but you will learn. And Scorpio, you are the Phoenix. You rise from the ashes. Don't let the, you know, possibility of rejection hold you back in the month of July. Okay. Because if we keep doing the same things, we're going to keep getting the same results. Um, and Scorpios, you, you don't, you, yeah, you struggle taking risks sometimes. If you take any risk, it's always going to be calculated because you would rather self-sabotage yourself than expose yourself to like hurt coming from someone else, you know. Um, so I want you to just be conscious of that and, and avoid, um, um, Avoid self-sabotage in July. Yeah, I keep getting show yourself and don't hold back. Show yourself and don't hold back. We've got hide and seek. So you are hiding. And Spirit is saying, if others can't see your beauty, well, then that's their missed opportunity. Okay? Um, so don't hide yourself behind an image that others see. Get out there, seek people who will appreciate you for who you really are because they're actually out there searching for you too. So trust that, okay? Yeah. I'm, I'm definitely getting that you're being held back by fears and doubts because we've got the let go card close to the top and that's saying that fear is paralyzing you. Um, so... Yeah, <clears throat> just be aware, okay? Now, let's get the tarot out. I want to use a different deck than what I've been using to see if we get the same tarot cards. Angels and Spirit, please show me what's going on with Scorpio in love, please. Now and till the end of August. Sorry, end of July, early August. What's going on for Scorpio in love? Please show me clearly. So they're asking you to make an effort, okay? We've got the Three of Pentacles card, and that card is all about work. 
So where do you need to make more of an effort? There's someone that you're thinking about or who's thinking about you. We have the Page of Swords. This is someone online. This could be online communication. This could be online dating. Um, but definitely there's someone on your mind and someone thinking about you too. Someone from the past, definitely, because we have the Three of Swords. Heartbreak, grief, betrayal, sadness, loss. Okay, so yeah, interesting. Someone that wasn't able to give you what you needed or you know, match your level of effort. We've got the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. The Six of Pentacles is about equal give and take. Okay, because um, we, we see the scales of justice often in this card. Um, it's about someone's level of investment. Um, I'm also seeing in this card someone asking for forgiveness. Okay, that's what I'm getting from this card. Okay, so it's someone from the past who really hurt you could be coming back to ask for your forgiveness. Interesting. And you will be called upon to make a decision. We have the lovers card and that came up in the reverse. So this is about a decision that needs to be made in love. But I feel with the high priestess in the reverse, not only could you be dealing with a fellow water sign, so Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, um, this person is withholding. They're not really giving you the full truth. So just be aware that you're not getting the full, you know, that they could be asking your forgiveness. They could be coming back um, into your life, but only telling you what they want to tell you, not the full truth. The Knight of Swords is here in the reverse. This is asking you not to rush into making any decisions, okay? You don't have the full picture yet, so patience is needed um, and just see and observe this person's behavior because actions speak louder than words, okay? And remember, they are not gonna be telling you the full story. I feel like they walked away from you. We have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. So they might be telling you why they had to walk away before. We have, you know, this card is leaving, this card is abandoning. Maybe they're coming back to explain why they left so suddenly. Both of you, okay, yeah. Both of you are thinking of each other. We keep getting the Page of Swords. There's unfinished business here for sure. And you are going to be at a crossroads. Okay, we have the Ten of Swords in the reverse, so that's the end of a difficult cycle, but it's still kind of going on because it came up in the reverse, so it's not the end yet. This is what's telling me there's unfinished business. There was never any closure, there was never really any resolution, and now that they've come back, you know, it's kind of rubbed salt into the wounds that never really got a chance to heal to begin with. And this is a crossroads, seven of pentacles, a decision that needs to be made. And you are being asked to take a risk, remember, in the beginning. So let's see this other person. Let's get their energy. Angels and spirit, show me. Show me this other person clearly, please. Their energy, possible star sign. Show me this other person. thinking about Scorpio or involved with Scorpio or whoever's interested in Scorpio, please show me. Someone who's willing to invest now. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so... The Knight of Cups came up in the reverse. So there's a, a romantic offer that they want to make. There's a romantic gesture that someone wants to make, but they're kind of um, tentative at the moment. They don't really know how you're feeling. You're very 
Um, you're gonna make them work hard, I feel, because you've been hurt, Scorpio. You're gonna make them work for this if you're going to give them a second chance. Show me the other person, please. Show me the other person. Okay, so you're after something real, something secure, something stable. We have the Ten of Pentacles, okay? And um, that's what I think they're coming in to offer you. Look, I keep getting someone begging forgiveness. The Three of Wands. You've been waiting, waiting, waiting for them. The Three of Wands is someone who's waiting for their ships to come in, waiting for answers, waiting for clarity. And finally, they are here. Um, and they're willing to work. We have the Eight of Pentacles, okay? And it's going to be very sudden and unexpected for you. We have the Tower card, Aries energy. Okay. For some of you, um, I feel like they're going to come in and say, look, I haven't been able to stop thinking about you. We had the Nine of Swords in the reverse. Um, but that's also a feeling like, you know, this is going to actually cause you a level of anxiety because you're actually not going to know how to respond to this person. They kind of left you out in the cold and now they're back. And... Yeah, okay. This is them asking for your forgiveness. The Four of Cups is a card about someone. If, if I showed it to you in a different deck, it would be easier to explain. It's someone offering their cup of love. Here, it's at the top. Four of Cups. So it's them offering you their cup of love and you're sitting there going, I don't know what to make of this. I don't know if I can trust you. Um, you kind of shattered my trust before, and now I don't know if you can be trusted. That's that energy. But look, there will be a reunion for some of you, and I'm definitely getting a strong water sign, a strong fellow water sign. We've got a power couple here. We've got you, the Queen of Cups, or King of Cups, and the other person is, you know, depending if you're male or female. So we've got a Queen and King of Cups here. So... I do feel like many of you will be dealing with um, a Scorpio Cancer Pisces. Yeah, this is you trying to make a decision. You know, the Two of Pentacles is normally that card where someone's, you know, trying to decide between one or the other. So that's you. And they're going to come in passionately. We've got the Ace of Wands here. They want a passionate new beginning with you and it's come up in the reverse. So it's a little bit up in the air right now. Yeah, look, we have the Hanged Man in the reverse. So they're waiting for you to, to make a decision. Um, so it's a bit up in the air at the moment. Yeah, definitely I'm getting that they left you out in the cold. They could have given you silent treatment. They could have left you without any kind of explanation. Um, and now they're back wanting a second chance. We've got the star card here. This is hope. This is healing. This is renewal. This is a second chance. And it's your decision. I keep getting the lovers, okay? Um... Okay, let's see, what other deck do I want to use? What do they want to communicate? If, if they could communicate honestly, what would they say to Scorpio?
No, it's a big shuffle. I just want it to be really accurate. And I'm tuning in. I'm channeling all the Scorpios I know right now. Okay, here we go. What would they say if they could honestly communicate? I know I screwed things up and I have no idea how to fix it. Oh my goodness, this is the Page of Swords. I've looked you up online to see what you've been up to. I wish I could take back the things that I said. They can't ignore the signs they're receiving any longer. Um, they're still very much attracted to you. We've got your beauty still moves me. But I feel like they left you suddenly because, I'll tell you why. We've got two cards that suggest this. You were very honest with them and open with them and they weren't comfortable with the, the level of truth and honesty in the connection. Um, and they felt safer in the silence. I know that sounds really weak. It sounds weak, doesn't it? And, and Scorpio, we demand nothing less than someone who's strong, someone who knows how to handle us. You know, we, we are not to be trifled with, okay? Um, let's see, let's see what they want. Let's see what they want um, with us truly like deep down what do they want um let's use this deck here what do they want with scorpio please They want you to come together and they want to work things out. We have the three of pentacles. Okay, so that's teamwork, that's cooperation. But I'm getting a third party here because not only do we have the three of pentacles, I've got the three of cups in the reverse. But this can be a reunion. So this could be, you know, they want to get back together with you. Um, they want to return to happier times. But with two threes... It is very possible that there's a third party involved. There's definitely unfinished business. We have the world card in the reverse. The world card in the upright is all about completion and fulfillment and, you know, karmic lessons having been learned so that you're ready for a new cycle to begin. But because this has come up in the reverse, something still needs to happen, you know. Mm, it's not finished yet. They want, they want to have a hard, honest chat. They want clarity. They want truth with the Ace of Swords. But I don't know. I don't think a lot of you are going to be ready to open up or, you know, let them back in. Because we have, yeah, the Four of Pentacles is someone who hasn't really let go of the past, um, who has closed the door and possibly thrown away the key in terms of a second chance. They're not really open. They're not really receptive. Yeah. So one of you is emotionally unavailable or at one point you were, okay? Because we have the King of Cups in the reverse. And one of you, so interesting we have the king of wands in the reverse and the king of cups in the reverse perhaps it never worked out originally scorpio because you were really hard to penetrate emotionally and they didn't know how you really felt about them and they had other people on the scene 
I feel like you were the emotionally unavailable one or, or you were just very complicated for them and they didn't really understand you before the King of Cups in the reverse. And they were the King of Wands in the reverse. So they had other people interested in them, so they kind of just went off with other romantic prospects and left you out in the cold. That's what I'm kind of getting. Yeah. Not necessarily, that will just be for some of you. This is a general reading, guys, so it's not going to resonate with every, every one of you. Now what I want to do is see the single Scorpios, who's coming your way. In, or it doesn't even have to be just for singles. It's who is coming towards Scorpio in July, please. Who's coming towards Scorpio? What are their traits, characteristics, possible career, profession, star sign? Show me clearly who's coming towards Scorpio. Who's coming towards Scorpio, please, in July? So we have someone who possibly has children to someone else or, you know, a father figure. I don't know. Someone. Um, okay, so interesting. We've got detective, rescuer and hero. So in terms of profession, a lot of you could be attracting someone in the law enforcement field. Um someone who works as a firefighter or in life saving in some way, shape or form. Okay, um, we've got a healer as well. Someone who's quite innocent and pure and likes to be of service to others with these two cards. That's kind of Virgo energy. Scorpio energy here with the detective card. Okay. Yeah, we definitely have someone with a strong sense of justice. Not only do we have the detective card and the rescuer, but we have the avenger. Someone who um, likes to... Someone who's righteous and wants to balance the scales of justice. Okay. I'm not getting strong star signs in here. Hmm. Yeah, possibly Virgo. Because we've got the hermit close to the top. Doesn't have to be though. Doesn't have to be. Okay, let's see generally, um, let's see what's going on with your money, Scorpio. Let's ask the tarot first and then we'll do the angels of abundance. What does Scorpio need to do to maximize their money in July? Financially, what should Scorpio be doing to maximize opportunities? What should they be doing in terms of their life purpose and career, please, in July? me clearly okay here we go take risks okay Act with integrity as well, because um, we have the Ace of Swords. That's about truth and clarity. That's also about being clear about what you want to achieve, being clear about your intentions. The Fool card was the first card to come out, and that is about um, taking risks, taking a leap of faith. But definitely there's a sense a lot of you are going on a new adventure, going on a new journey in July. Yeah. We have another travel card, the Two of Wands, and also a card about setting clear intentions. The Two of Wands is about, okay, what steps do I need to take? You know, it's about strategizing. 
it's about figuring out what what really drives you what motivates you what inspires you and then taking action steps accordingly okay so let's see what your angels of abundance say angels and spirit what does scorpio need to do to maximize success opportunities and finances in july please for some of you there will be a new start especially with the full card and the ace of swords so some of you will be embarking on something brand new a brand new venture a brand new job or a new chapter in your life purpose, in your career. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this is about needing to be clear and setting clear intentions. We have visualize abundance in all forms. That's about holding a steady vision um, of what you want to achieve. And that's what you will experience because we get what we focus on, right? Some of you will be teaming up with other people. We've got the partnership card and that's saying you're receiving help from heaven and from people who bring needed skills and resources. Um, so we also have the donations and charitable work card. Some of you will start working for a non-government um, organization or something you know working for a charitable organization um, if not if you're looking for work the best thing you could do is donate your time and energy you know as an intern or a volunteer and that's how you're going to get a foot in the door um, and get a role a paid role with within an organization okay it's saying that your generosity will be returned to you in miraculous ways so, you know, dedicate your time, supplies, money or other resources and, um, you know, whatever you donate and, you know, the, the positive energy that you contribute, it's going to multiply and it's going to benefit you in the long run. Okay. Interesting. Um, now I'm just going to pull an animal oracle card. And see what further advice we can get for Scorpios in June. Ooh. The period of darkness that you're experiencing is passing, okay? That is encouraging. Advice for Scorpios, please. Advice for Scorpio. tougher than you think you are accept any situation as it is rather than fighting to to change it okay so stay present and um, only try to change what you have the power to change everything else leave it up to spirit the universe has your back so just trust okay it is what it is I want you to keep your sense of humor and don't take things so seriously Take risks, okay? We keep getting the need for you to act on the opportunity that's before you, okay? And this is a time for, this is a good time for a new adventure. We keep seeing that for you. Travel, new journeys, new adventure and risk taking. So get out there and enjoy Scorpio. I really hope this reading has helped you and I look forward to the next one. Leave me comments, leave me likes. I'll be forever grateful. Thanks guys, bye.